like the person you want to become. That's not fake it till you make it, by the way. This is intentional. Intentionally act like the person you want to become. Because when you intentionally act like the person you want to become, your brain sees you taking those actions, so your brain starts to change the way it relates to you. When your brain sees you high-fiving yourself in the mirror, it starts to go, oh, wait a minute. Steven loves himself. <sighs> Steven's cheering for himself. We don't beat Steven up. Your goal is misaligned with your actions. And if you want something, your actions need to reflect that which you want. You can't want something and then want another thousand other things that are the antithesis of that which you want. Because just like you have critical mass, you also have the black hole which absorbs critical mass. So you need to observe these things, these little gaps in your life that are absorbing your potential to grow and you need to mitigate them. So we often talk about the things that we need to do, but we often don't talk about the frameworks as to the things that we need to avoid. Hey, rap babes, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, this intro is all over the place, but y'all know what I'm about to say. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know y'all probably wondering why I am all done up right now, y'all. First of all, let's get into the hair. This is a two by six closure wig from The Wig Addiction LLC. ShopTheWigAddiction.com is coming back real soon, baby. Real soon. We rebranding, but everything is coming back. Anyway, y'all, I did a nice little beat as well. I used the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder 10 out of 10. Are you crazy? Are you kidding? Do you see this? What? That blur and balm is so good. I didn't put on any foundation. I know some people, like if I was going for a more heavier beat, maybe like going out to dinner or something, I would probably use that as a base and then put like a foundation or something on top but i used it literally just as it is. It's so, oh, so good. Anyway, um, I am all done up right now. I am actually about to go to a little pool party. So a lot of Oh, sorry, y'all. Uh, my travel nurse contract ended yesterday. Wow, like, it's so crazy that it's done. But, um, yeah, so a lot of the people that I worked with were basically getting together to do, like, a little, like, get-together. Honestly, it literally landed on the day after almost everybody's contract ended. So it actually worked out perfectly. It's going to be me, Shay, and a few others that I'm cool with at work. I am not big on hanging out with people at work. That's how y'all know the vibes are there and I felt comfortable because there are only a few um this a small amount of people that I hang out with outside of work but it just felt right the people that are going to be there are very cool um and I've worked with some of them for a while so yeah anyway I just did a little makeup I'm actually super late so I need to head out but we're, yeah, we're about to go do a little pool party this morning I had to woke up uh, this morning I woke up and um I just put out the vlog so make sure y'all go watch last week's vlog because yes y'all I definitely feel like I'm moving to Atlanta I don't know when I don't know when God gonna tell me to do so I'm waiting for God to tell me yes so I could get up out of here but I'm going I'm, I'm literally going I have on a bathing suit this is actually from that yes yeah, from Fashion Nova and the cover up is from Pretty Little Thing. I actually have wore this in Dubai. I don't know if y'all remember in that vlog, I wore it there. Um, I have my Gucci shades, my Gucci shades, YSL bag. I have my Hermes slides. I bring on my water, of course, I know I'm not thirsty. Um, and that's basically it. So, yeah, I'm about to head out because it's gonna take me a little while to get there, and I'm gonna be the last one there. But it's fine. Let's go. I smell so good. Like, when people be telling me, oh my gosh, you look like you smell good, I'd be like, girl, I'm never beating those allegations. I'm never, ever, ever going to fight those rumors. Ah, oh, honey, because I do. So I have on, and honestly, I will do another, like, hygiene video because body care and smelling good starts literally in the shower. So we'll go into that at another time. But I have on Prada mixed with a little bit of Givenchy Irresistible. I have on a Tom Ford, the body glitter um, with a little bit of Chanel lotion. <laughs> And one thing about me, y'all, when it comes to spraying my perfume, I'm not afraid to put it on. I'm not, I'm not the one, two sprays, no, baby. I am drenching myself in it, like, what? And the product perfume that I wore even yesterday to work, I still smell like it this morning, even after a shower. So I didn't even have to put any on my wrist. But anyway, y'all, let's go because I'm chatting it up. It's time to go. Let's go have some fun with the girls. There's going to be a guy or two there as well. But yeah, let's just go have fun, and I'm going to see y'all soon. Let's go. Verse 27, it says, for the, the son of man. Oh, 
It's the ring that she's looking for. Oh, really? Hey y'all, so I literally just got back home from the event. Um, it was like a little pool party type of thing with like people from my job. Um, it actually really wasn't a get together because our contracts ended type of thing. It was just literally a get together that fell on the day after most of our contracts ended, which was crazy. But um, it all worked out. It was such a good time. Um, I didn't get too much content because it wasn't that type of vibe. It was really like very chill, relaxed, talking. We played like a game here or there, but it wasn't nothing crazy. Um, so it really wasn't nothing crazy for content. But the, the lady's backyard was such inspiration. Like, First of all, her backyard was beautiful. The pool was beautiful. The way her, like she had even like a, a campfire station with like rocks and everything. They set up the campfire so my hair smells like so much smoke right now because I was sitting right in front of it and it was like coming up to me and I sat there for a while until the smoke just started suffocating me. But she had like a DJ station. Like when I, her backyard, that's the type of vibe I would go for in my backyard. Like her backyard was beautiful. It was just such a good time. Um, as y'all know, like my contract, it's ended at the job. So basically this is a contract I was on for a little while. I definitely enjoyed it. That's one of the, that's one of the perks. Like it's one of the biggest pros and cons of travel nursing is the people you work with. You can create lifelong friendships with and just have really good relationships with them or it can be a thing of like yeah, I cannot wait to get off this contract but luckily for me every single contract I've had every job that I've had I've made a lifelong friend um, you know curated lifelong relationships and I just love that like I've never had a bad experience um, working at certain places so I mean, of course, I've had bad experiences, but anywhere that I have stayed at, it's because of the people, you know, and I just, I just love it. But anyway, this job in particular was kind of, I feel like a lot of facilities, I don't know if you guys have been going through this, but a lot of facilities are trying to wean out like agency or travel nurses. So that was basically what was happening. Um, they were getting, they had some new management. They just really wanted it to be like a staff place or whatever. <laughs> so they kind of just ended everybody's contract, but you know, we're just gonna enjoy this time off together. I'm gonna take this time to really get into my content bag. Now I have much more time to do so much things that I wanna do. So I'm just really excited for this new journey and y'all will be on it with me. And then whenever I start a job again, we'll see. But yeah, y'all, like, as y'all can tell, first of all, my hair looks a little crazy, so don't mind it. But y'all, my makeup barely moved. Like, it's insane. My makeup barely moved. When I was in Atlanta, if we took any pictures, baby, just keep them in your camera. <laughs> Baby, just leave that as memories because my makeup in Atlanta, I felt like it was melting away. Like, my makeup right now is still intact. That Danessa Myrick's Blurring Balm Powder changed the game for my makeup. Like, I'm definitely going to do a sit down, like, makeup routine video with y'all because, yeah. Anyway, I'm about to take my makeup off. In Atlanta, I had took my makeup off and y'all was like, oh, um, you know, you should use an oil. I always use a blurring balm. I mean, a cleansing balm or I always use oil to take off my makeup. It's so much easier. But I didn't have any in Atlanta. Like, I forgot a lot of stuff at home <laughs> while I was there. But I like to put on this balm. Kind of massage it in like that. Oh, yeah. And another thing I started doing for my face, y'all, I started using gua sha change in the game when i tell y'all my face be snatched it be snatched like one thing i don't know if y'all know what gua sha is but it's basically like a stone i'm gonna show y'all i got this stone from ulta hold on and this is how you know i've grown and matured because last year or two years ago i never used to take off my makeup before bed i don't even know how i was doing that but i want to watch love island season one the usa season i'm hoping it's serena and cordell like i love them honestly the next seasons to come have such big shoes to fill because this season of USA was so good. One thing I love about um, Love Island is that it comes on every night. It's literally like a reward. Like you come home from work, take a shower, do everything you gotta do. And then you just get into bed and rub your feet together with a cup of tea. Oh. Anyway, I'm about to wash my face real quick. I am going to go in with, hmm. 
I like to use my niacinamide wash from Natrium to wash my face. I'm just gonna use that. I'm not gonna do nothing crazy. No, like double, well, yeah, I am gonna double cleanse, actually, I'm lying. I'm gonna use first my oil-based cleanser. This is a DHC oil-based cleanser. I'm gonna go on with that first. Then use my niacinamide, put on my retinol, and we're gonna do some gua sha. All right, y'all, so I washed my face. I put on my Dr. Dennis Gross pads. Um, and I just finished that. So I'm about to go in with this retinol. Oh no, okay, good. Retinol, this is with squalene from The Ordinary. And then I'm gonna do my gua sha. Huh? I just like to put on a good amount. And for my gua sha, I'm really trying to get like a vitamin E oil. I think that will be better for me to use when I'm using gua sha because I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like that might be better. Than using retinol. But anyway, so here is my gua sha, y'all. I got it from Ulta. It was literally like six dollars when I got it. I think I, I had this for like a year or two, and I just never used it. And then when this started to like come up on like my TikTok and stuff, I said, "Hmm, let me start using it." And I have seen a difference. I really should have took a picture, but whatever. Anyway, so what I like to do is, for I already did my lymph node massage, but I'll just show you guys. So I like to just go like this, just to open up my lymph nodes to kind of drain. And I'll do this like ten times. Five to ten times then i'll do the same thing right here then i'll do it under my arm then i take my gua sha and i'll start here so i'll take the the heart shape side and i like to do each motion like five to ten times and every few i kind of just like to drag it down just to drain the fluid I don't know if y'all can already see a difference, but sometimes when I do it, I don't know if I'm just psyching myself out, but I be seeing my, I, I don't know, I be seeing it, y'all. I be seeing a little different. Then I like to do my cheeks. And you don't want to press too hard, okay? I like to do my eyebrows. I like to do my forehead. Then I like to do the same thing on the opposite side. You don't want to do it too hard, especially if you have sensitive skin. You do not want your skin to be like red or bruised. It probably could just be in my head, y'all. I don't know, but I've been seeing a difference. And sometimes for my chin, cause I don't know y'all, I feel like, you know, just to try to drain some of this out, I'll just go like this. And now all I'll do at this time, I'll just wash it off, put on my little moisturizer, which would be, I'll use my La Roche Posay moisturizer at night. During the day, I like to use my Neutrogena one, and that's really it, y'all. This is what I just started doing with my skincare. And I can say retinol alone has definitely helped me with um, my skin. I really, like, I'm trying to just get my texture under control. Um, I feel like my breakouts, unfortunately, when it's time for that time of the month, it's inevitable for me to break out. The only thing that really helps me with that is drinking chlorophyll water and drinking spearmint tea. Otherwise, like, my skincare routine, I do feel like it's under control. I'm just really trying to figure out what I can do. To like get rid of some of this texture if you guys can see I feel like I do have some texture and some pores like I really want to close up some of these pores if y'all see what I'm talking about literally 11 o'clock at night I'm about to get in bed I want to watch Love Island and then tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment um, and I have a dentist appointment so it's my it's my biannual appointment, so I like to go to the doctors July and either like December or January. So I always like to, those are when I like to schedule my two appointments of the year. I'm gonna go get my teeth clean. I'm gonna go get my physical done with my PCP. And then yeah, I think that would be it. Maybe tomorrow I'll go take myself on a date. I don't know, but I'm actually gonna be using this time off to really like date myself, go on solo dates, and do a lot of the things that I didn't have time to do before because I would work for three days and I'm off. I would really need a day of rest if I'm doing three in a row and then I'll have three days to make content, vlog. And then it's like, it's just hard to balance everything when you're working full time. So hopefully like I really just use this time off to really do everything that I need to do. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna speak to y'all tomorrow. We'll see what's going on and yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned for everything. Later. Hey y'all, let's cheers to the probiotic lemonade. Before we even get started, let me show y'all what it is. 
So it's from Kavita. This is their sparkling lemonade. It has 60 calories. It Three grams of fiber, nine total sugars, nine grams of total sugars, 15 grams of total carbs. Um, so it's not the worst, and it also has calcium in it. I like to drink this instead of kombucha because, y'all, kombucha has way too much sugar. I think kombucha has, like, double this amount of sugar, so I started drinking the lemonades every now and then. They have a mango flavor and a strawberry flavor. I like them both. So I'm just drinking some of this because I didn't eat too good today, and I'm actually about to drink some detox tea before I take my vitamins but I don't even know when was the last time I spoke to y'all it had to be like last week which is why there was no vlog for this week y'all and I'm really sorry about that I have not been on my zoom but we getting back on my zoom um my contract has ended so I've been on fun employment and my definition of fun employment is staying in the bed I just be home I just be home okay so I real, I'm getting out of that funk now. So um, I did, if y'all watched my last vlog, I asked you guys for suggestions. Like how do you guys want me to make this vlog? Like me just naturally being somebody who likes to be home. And by the way, y'all might I add, I only really became a homebody for real when I got my own place. When I was living with my parents, I was always outside. I was always doing something. I always wanted to be out. But once I got my own place and I had like a sense of peace and I'm just, it's just me. I felt like I became more of a homebody. But anyway, I asked you on my last vlog, how should I make my vlogs entertaining? Because I don't want it to just be me, you know, staying home or whatever. Um, somebody, one of the brat babes gave me a suggestion. So shout outs to you, boo. They told me to get like a jar with like a whole bunch of like self-care or date night or a solo date night idea. So I bought it from Amazon. My Amazon packages will be coming tomorrow. So we'll do an unboxing. Y'all probably wondering why. I have my makeup done and everything. I just came home from brunch with my girl. that we went for a walk after we ate like by her house it was so nice then i just got home anyway y'all i'm about to take my vitamins i take whew, excuse me i take magnesium and vitamin d every night and every morning i take inositol and berberine um, i think i'm gonna do a weight loss vlog probably tomorrow i'm um, showing you guys like my workout and vitamins and things that i'm taking to kind of keep myself motivated i know i'm not where i want to be on my weight loss journey but i do think doing the weight loss vlogs holds me accountable and then it also gives you guys motivation for all of us to hit our body goals whether you want to lose weight gain weight maintain get healthy whatever that may be so yeah y'all just got back home it is like it's eight o'clock right now i'm about to go take my makeup off and in the morning, I'm not even going to say too much about what I want to do. I'm just going to get up and do it. Because every time I talk, for some reason, the opposite happens. And I'm just going to get up and do what I got to do. We're going to be up very early. I'm tired. Uh, you know, I had enough days of laying in bed and just really, like, resetting. Now it's really time to be a good steward of this time off. And to use this time with as much free time as I have to, one, better myself, of course, to get more into content. Y'all want me to try to do content full-time during this break, so we'll see. And also, like, spend more time with God. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm about to take my vitamin... What's today? Sunday? Yes. I'm going to take my vitamin D and my magnesium. So it's one little gel pill and two capsules with the magnesium is 400 milligrams then i take 2000 in a gel pill of vitamin d and then i take another 5000 i believe and i only do that because my vitamin d is still low i got my physical done the other day my vitamin d came back as 30 which is not bad because my vitamin d used to be in the 20s and normal is like 32 so my uh np told me to just keep taking the, these things and i should be okay yeah so i'm about to make my chia seed water for one y'all because i don't know why chia seeds is not going viral but i've been on my chia seed ting because i love chia seeds i usually put them either in my yogurt mm -hmm. or sometimes i'll make them in like chlorophyll lemon and lime water so that's what i'm about to do i'll show y'all how i make it and then we are gonna go to bed all right y'all so here is my glass. We're about to make our chia seed water. So I have my water right here. I'm gonna just put some water in here. And I have some 
key limes that I got from Whole Foods. These are my favorite limes to get. So I'm just gonna put three. Key limes are so much, like they're really good for your gut and gut health. So I love me a key lime. Uh, and most of the time, my water would have limes in it rather than lemons, because lemons are very acidic. It can hurt your stomach, your teeth, all of that. So you just wanna be very careful with lemons. Going with my chia seeds now. I believe I got these from Whole Foods. I have to actually make a stop there tomorrow because I'm clearly running out. That's how much I use them. And I kind of just eyeball it. I just like to fill up the top with as much as I can. And I like to go in with some chlorophyll. This chlorophyll is actually from Mary Ruth's. It's my favorite chlorophyll ever. It's linked in my Amazon storefront. And I just put about one to two full drops of chlorophyll. I can't drink chlorophyll by itself. It always has to be with like um, like a lemon or a lime type of thing. Then the key thing is y'all, you can't just drink it like this. You have to like a chia seed soak. <coughs> because if you just drink it like this, they will expand in your stomach and you can have a lot of health problems. So you kind of want to mix it in like so. And then I just let it sit for like 30, 45 minutes, sometimes even an hour. I'll just let it sit and let it expand. And then I will drink it. So here is my chia seed drink. Let's see y'all, I'm about to actually go take my makeup off, go lay down. I can't wait to do an updated makeup tutorial for y'all. Vanessa Myrick's Blurring Balm Powder 1010. If you're not wearing that under your makeup, if you're not wearing that as your foundation, whatever, you're not doing it right. Especially if you have oily skin. Like, it was very hot. Well, not really hot, but like hot enough to sweat. And my makeup did not move one bit. So I highly recommend it. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to speak to y'all tomorrow. Um, we will have a long, long, long day. Bye, y'all. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. 30 day trial before I made my mind and it's always yeah. Trials and tribulations. Uh -huh. Child, child, child. Kissing in Paris, I guess we could do it in French. Wow. Eating low main, it's child for now. Child, child. She got me wildin' now. Worry, it's how you're child for now. Child, child. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. 30 day trial before I pay my mind and it's always. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I actually just finished my workout. As y'all can tell, I did Pilates this morning. I'm about to actually run to Whole Foods. I just need to get some like fruit, stuff to make juices. Like I wanna make beet juice this week. I wanna make um, green juice. Like I just wanna get some produce, basically some fruits. And I need new flowers, y'all. My flowers here are just, like, it's definitely time to get some new ones. So I'm gonna go get some of that. Before I go, um, I'm just gonna make my protein iced coffee. So I like to have protein very early, so we're about to just make it, and then I'm probably just gonna relax because I got like 20 or 30 minutes before I have to head out. I also have to go get fingerprinted for um, I'm getting licensed in new state, so definitely have to get that. But anyway, so I like to use some caramel sauce. I know there's something called like skinny syrup or like sugar-free caramel syrup. When I go grocery shopping, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna go try to find find some or maybe even today so for now i just put a little bit nothing too crazy because this is full of sugar i literally just do it for 
for the aesthetic. But yeah, I'm gonna go get me some sugar-free. Then I take some black iced coffee, probably like that much. This is literally just for the taste. And one of my favorite protein shakes, this is the Premier Protein brand. Um, this is the Cafe Latte flavor. I also like their birthday cake flavor. I like their vanilla. But Cafe, Cafe Latte has been my ultimate favorite, y'all. And I just put it in here. It's basically like a profi, protein coffee, profi. So you do that. And you just get a good, good coffee taste. Oh my gosh, it'd be so good. So here we are with our iced coffee. We'll mix it up. And then if I was having like breakfast, like eggs, I'm gonna eat, I had an omelet yesterday from IHOP, so I'm just gonna eat the rest of that with this iced coffee. And that will be my breakfast. And honestly, it do be keeping me full. And then later on, I'll probably have my chia seed water and stuff, but before I even eat, I'm gonna just take my vitamins. So today is Monday. We're gonna take our berberine and our inositol. Yeah. That's it, y'all. Melody's calling me, BRB. Hello? That's crazy. I just finished doing my Pilates. Excuse me, I just finished my bar. I was sleeping, so I can run. Hey, vlog. So I'm in Target. These are the two things I just found. So, y'all know I've been doing my gua sha. So, I got this ice roller that I'll be using afterwards. And then I got the Pan Oxo Overnight Spot Patches. This is supposed to help you with your acne and also prevent scarring so we'll see how it works now i'm in the notebook aisle y'all i'm trying to look for a church notebook to do my hold on my sermon notes this is so cute i love when they represent the girls but i don't see it hmm all right y'all so i also got some bible study stuff so these are some index cards that i like to use for my scriptures um and then i got some post-its for when i'm like journaling or doing bible study to mark like important pages so yeah look at the sparkling lemonades i was showing y'all earlier they have a peach flavor classic strawberry and mango so if y'all ever in target y'all better come get you some it's the kavita brand they also have really good kombuchas too so i'm about to get a few more things and then we're out of here just got back home let me take my watch off it's been a day like i left since what one ac's about to turn off because i know like when i edit it back it can be very loud and just sound like a lot of like very muffled in the back so y'all will hear that subside in a minute so i just got back home y'all i done went to whole foods i went to target i went to the supermarket it was super packed um and then i also got my fingerprints done for this new job hopefully i'm going to be starting in jesus name i'm about to make me a smoothie so i actually had from the high protein breakfast you guys that i have that like around 11 ish with the iced coffee it's almost five o'clock now and i'm getting a little hungry so it really holds you off when you start your day with a lot of protein i'm gonna use this um, mango strawberry blend that i got from target we're gonna put some yogurt in it is this greek yogurt i don't know if it's greek yogurt but well, we're gonna use some oikos yogurt it's 23 grams of protein and i also wanted to try the chobani complete this is actually a strawberry flavored um mix so it'll be like a 40 gram of protein um smoothie so, and then if I want to do like something a little bit more chill or not too much protein, I'll probably use the yogurt and some coconut water. But yeah, we're going to make this real quick. I have a new magic bullet, y'all. I got this from my housewarming. It's like this. I got it from my housewarming. It's my first time using it. And I'm like, this is going to be my new thing. Okay, so let me show y'all what we're about to do. So we're going to take one cup. Oh, wow. Things look good. We're gonna put in the Chobani. Let me shake it. Here is how it looks so far. Let's blend it up and see if I can add the yogurt next. Oh, three fourths. One fourth, two fourths. Let's see how the yogurt take it from zero. I even know. Mm. Here it is. Obviously, you're gonna be a meal replacement until later, but 
this four or five hundred calories for this smoothie alone that's why this will be my meal replacement because i put both but if not then i would either use the yogurt or i would use the chobani thing this is so good y'all wow i'm highly impressed so i'm about to like Oh, put everything out so I can see everything that I got. I'm going to show y'all what I got from all the stores. And then I'm going to open up these Amazon packages. I'm going to go take a shower. Then tonight, me and Janae are doing our... We're going to make like cheeseburger egg rolls. She's going to use beef. I'm going to use ground turkey, y'all. Simply because I grew up eating everything like ground turkey, ground chicken. My dad did not eat beef. He did not eat pork. So naturally, my mom didn't make it either. And then we never really grew up like they always give us the option like you know if you want to go out and eat that like it wasn't like something necessarily they didn't want us to do but i just think naturally when everything your mom makes is like turkey we would have you then you naturally just only eat that so it's like really a turkey and chicken thing in my house um and then yeah and occasionally seafood as well but yeah that's why i'm, I'm gonna use ground turkey and we're gonna make that together like a virtual date um hopefully tomorrow i can do like an indoor movie night i want to go to the gym and stuff but i'm gonna keep you updated on that we'll speak about that a little later let me put all my groceries out so i can show you guys and then we'll get into the packages all right y'all let's get into this grocery haul and honestly after looking at everything i did get a lot of stuff i probably spent almost 400 dollars on everything which is why they say it's probably much better to just order out food like it's cheaper actually when you add everything up because if i would have just bought food for today tomorrow i would have just spent like 60 dollars, you know but it's whatever so from whole foods i got these chia seeds i know chia seeds have been going viral but i've always loved chia seeds and like my yogurts and in my water so i had to re-up on that y'all saw these from target um i got some green apples for my juice that i'm going to be juicing soon i got some broccoli because i'm going to make chicken and broccoli i got the egg rolls for tonight peppers onions or whatever as well the apples are for um the juice as well i got lemon lime carrots lemon and lime i just like that for my water carrots is also for my juice it's going to be beets ginger carrots and green apple so melody actually told me that there was a study shown about like the tea bags we're drinking which is actually like these type of tea bags even though i bought some because it was decaf but anyway um they said that they are putting like chemicals in the tea bags so i bought these unbleached tea bags from whole foods y'all this alone was like almost 20 dollars. it was like 15 or 18 dollars. so it's very expensive but i wanted to try it it has um ginger peach green tea it's natural it's unbleached tea bag so i wanted to see how it tastes the caffeine level is really 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 low so i like that but i'm gonna try it and see but this is supposed to be very natural we will see i got some mangoes and strawberries as well my produce is always from whole foods always i got some chicken breast this is what i'm going to use for my chicken and broccoli i don't know when i'm going to make that but sometime this week this is the ground turkey that i'm going to use for my egg rolls i got some olipops from whole food whipped cream with some bagel thins y'all bagel thins is oh, 10 out of 10 i didn't, last time i had them i let them go bad but this time i really want to you know just like i just i want to eat these with my breakfast whether i'm having a bagel with cream cheese or like an avocado turkey bacon and egg type of thing i got pizza crust from whenever i want to make pizza this week coconut water for my smoothies mozzarella cheese more cheese one of these is either going to be for the egg rolls or the pizza i got some popcorn for whenever i want to pop some my pizza sauce the another chobani complete seasoned salt which i'll be using today as well um so for my turkey burgers excuse me so actually i got some potatoes here all these produce are from whole foods this is beets potato ginger and an avocado the potatoes are going to be for fresh cut french fries so and when I, I already have like i think three or four turkey burgers left and i don't use bread anymore for my burgers especially if i'm going to eat it with fries so i got some lettuce some romaine lettuce i usually use iceberg lettuce but i wanted to use romaine this time i feel like it's much more crunchier um i also got rotisserie chicken from shop right y'all this chicken is so good okay if sometimes um if i want it just a little bit more like crunchier or crispier i'll put it in the air fryer and i'll mix it with a salad kit so this they were two for six so i just got two um i got some oats, oat base whipped cream for my what is it called I got some oat base whipped cream for my oh for my protein iced coffees in the morning to kind of put it on top, you know. And it actually is only 10 calories to like literally basically no sugar, two grams of carbs. So I'm like, what is this to add, you know, and just make it 
look good and that's basically everything i got y'all i'm about to put my flowers my fruits and everything together we're about to take a shower oh and from target i also got a new towel which i'm about to wash i got some toilet tissue and paper towels so i gotta put all this stuff away y'all oh so i'm about to put on like a show or something to watch while i do this and be and then we'll go over everything i got from amazon but anyway i'm about to show you guys everything i got from amazon don't mind my hair y'all i think actually after we finish cooking i'm gonna dye this way jet black and just let it sit overnight and then you know just style it tomorrow just let it air dry and style it because yeah it was natural brown for a little bit this is from my new hair vendor i'm just gonna dye it see how it takes the dye and yeah. Um, but I was just watching Girls Gone Bible. They're doing an episode on addiction. And I really felt the Holy Spirit tugging on me to talk about this just a little bit. Like literally for like a minute or two. I know like um, I believe it was on my last video. I got a comment that said, oh, it's just like dang every video you talk about God. And when you are watching a creator, influencer or whatever, you have to understand that the same way you change and you go through seasons, we also change as well. I'm not going to stay the same forever. I'm not the same person that I was last year or even yesterday. Every day I'm changing. So I understand that in this new season, obviously, you know, uh, people just don't wanna always hear about God. They don't wanna talk about it. They're not there yet in their life. And that's understandable. I know I will always have my crowd. You know, I will always have my core supporters. Like I will always have y'all. So that's just that. But anyway, um, they were talking about addiction. And I know every time like the word addiction comes up, people think about like drugs, they think about, alcohol but people really don't understand that addiction can be what you constantly bow down to for some people it may be heroin for some people it may be alcohol for some people it may be marijuana but for others it may be that man that you keep going back to it may be your phone social media it may be just anything that is that you kind of put above God and it's hindering your relationship. What is something that you constantly bow down to, you know? So that's something that we all kind of need to sit down and think about. And even one of the girls on there, I believe it was Ari, you know, she always felt like she didn't have an addictive personality. So she felt like, you know, this episode wasn't for her, but she said like, as she sat with herself, she realized like, it's her thoughts, like what's going on in your head that she constantly bows down to. So for anybody that's battling something, I'm just praying for you because girl, we all needed me. I don't know if y'all saw in one of my last videos, I talked to y'all about like a food addiction. I would always eat when I'm not hungry. And no matter how hard I tried to fast before, I would always just want to eat. I always wanted food. Like I needed food to cope with anything that I was going through, which obviously resulted in my weight gain. And now I realize, like, you know, through fasting and through prayer, um that that was an idol for me that was something that i put above god in my relationship with him so this is just you know it just was on my heart for me to really just tell you guys like whatever it is you're battling pray fast matthew 17 21 says this type only comes out through prayer and fasting period so let's open up some of these packages i already put away all my groceries so that i could go take a shower i see i have a package from l'oreal oh look y'all it came with my favorite face wash and a refill so wow i'm gonna have to tag them and say thank you how nice okay let's get into our amazon packages show y'all a few things that i got oh, so another thing i got for my bible study wow i didn't even know it came with these little ones it didn't even show that i got these mini post-it notes i got the really tiny ones i don't like like the really big post-its i like small ones where i could easily lift it up and read what's under it so i got these two cups because as y'all seen like from this morning sometimes my um 
the cup that I use for my protein iced coffee can be a little small and I can't put as much coffee as I want or else it'll fill up. So I just got something bigger. I can also use this for my chia seed water. So I'm going to plug it. I don't think they sent me Airwick plugins, y'all, but I don't think this is mine. Okay, whatever. It says I ordered it. <laughs> I don't even remember ever buying these, but that's perfect because I just changed my plugins like two, three days ago. Well, probably like two days ago, and I only had two left, so it's actually perfect timing. Thank God I didn't buy any Target today. I also had to re up on my berberine. Y'all know I've been using this for my PCOS. I like to take my inositol in the morning, and then I take berberine for lunch. I also got another Bible. This is an NIV version, y'all. At this point, I probably got about like eight. One, two, I got like five or six Bibles at this point. One is a King James Version. Another one is uh, NLT. I think two of them is NLT. One of them is Christian Standard Bible and this is NIV. I'm probably gonna get like two more. I want an ESV version. I want a Bible in every version, okay? I know my favorite pens ever. Are you crazy? I'm a, listen y'all, as a nurse, one thing about me, Okay, you know what? I'm renouncing. I am not a pen thief anymore. I do not steal people's pens. But in my past life, baby, I used to take people's pens. This is one of my favorite pens that somebody had put me on to from work. One thing about nurses, y'all, we always gonna have a good pen. And these write so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, I also got me some Colchic Acid Dark Spark Remover. It's actually two bars of soap. So I wanted to use this specifically for my underarms and my inner thigh area because I am realizing that it's pretty dark. Well, darker, obviously I'm already dark skinned, but it's like darker than I would like. So I wanted to start using this. If you have any other good recommendations, like if you were suffering with this, let me know and put me on, but I'm gonna start using it today. I've been using like Lumi, I've been using Dial Soap, but you know, it's only so much those products can actually do. So if y'all were struggling with that and y'all know how to naturally lighten them areas, let me know. Also, so one of the rat babes, I think I told y'all this before in my last vlog when I asked y'all. Yeah, I probably told y'all this earlier, but in my last vlog, a supporter commented on my job form, which is always linked in every single video for y'all to submit any content ideas, anything that you want to see. And for my homebody, for me being an, an insane homebody, she said for me to get like a date night jar, which come, well, not really that, but date ideas in a jar where it basically has a whole bunch of things that you know you can pick what you want to do so the yellow cards if you're as if you're staying in the red is romantic and baby we ain't, we ain't never gonna use those we might as well throw them out the green is a day out the orange is a lucky dip i don't know what that's supposed to be and a blue is a night out so let's say i was doing i'm staying in which i normally am this one says do a home workout or yoga session i wouldn't do yoga because y'all know the roots of it just really ain't godly and you can come into an agreement with satan through yoga so yeah i wouldn't do that this one says bake some cookies or cupcakes so yeah i guess i'll just be doing these every so often tonight since i'm already making the egg rolls with janae i'm not gonna pick one but i'm gonna leave this probably on my bar cart and use this as needed so i'm gonna charge the camera while i shower we're gonna come back at six o'clock so around like seven ish um we're gonna start the egg rolls which i'm so excited about so yeah i'm gonna speak to y'all soon I don't want anyone coming between us, baby Feeling my temperature, you know that I'm feeling, baby It's getting technical whenever I see you, baby So won't you come around, come around, come around for me I know that you want me Feeling the fire that's burning Deep love, you deserve it Feasting cause I'm serving For you it's okay Whatever you say yeah. For you it's okay You know how we day Two months since I never seen you Too long gonna be missing you Stronger when I'm with you Stronger when we come in twos you got something I cannot describe, I need it You got something I wouldn't deny your secret, babe Sometimes I look at you and I despise your features 
How could you look so bad that you leave me speechless, baby? Uh, for you it's okay, whatever you say. Yeah, for you it's okay, you know how we play. For you it's okay, whatever you say. Yeah, for you it's okay, you know how we play. So y'all do not mind this part of the paper towel. It caught on fire, but my egg rolls are ready. Charles, your lunch is ready. This is the egg roll, y'all. Cut one open so that it could kind of like, um, yeah, this is it. I cut one open so that it could cool down because it was so hot. Um, you see Janae? Janae's on the phone. She already ate hers. Now I'm gonna try it with and without the honey mustard. Try it with the sauce and see which one is better. Okay, I'm gonna rate it. <laughs> it's good. This it ain't not good. It's good. Would you do anything different? I think next time I will put less seasoning since the cheese is already salty. And I would wrap it better. Yeah, I'm Yeah, so Janae doubled her her dough because they're so thin she doubled it but y'all know i'm really trying to just get serious on my diet and when i saw that one had 15 grams of carbs i said yeah nah i'm just gonna keep it like this yours was like too thick yeah it was like a lot good though y'all with some fries that was very quick y'all we was we got on the phone this is like an less than an hour yeah literally by the time you i think what takes the longest is them frying on the stove but like cooking the meat folding them <coughs> It didn't really take as long as I thought, but this was some french fries, huh? Yeah? Ha ha. Uh -huh. Listen, y'all, by the time y'all see this, y'all already gonna see who won Love Island UK. Uh, we've been rooting for Mimi. We've been rooting for Josh. And although, you know, Mimi has made some mistakes, Josh has as well. I love their connection, and I hope it flourishes in the real world. But I know... I only know they won because Janae said they released it on TikTok and I went to go look. But I'm about to go watch it so I can see like the speeches and everything like that. Like I just, I love it. This year, Love Island is winning. Okay, because even, what am I going to say because you didn't finish. But Love Island USA and Love Island UK this year both had black couples win. Like, like before, it was, it was almost embarrassing to go on there as a black, like not only black but a black dark skinned woman. That's what I'm trying to say. So I just love that. I literally... Yeah, you could tell they black. Love that. Anyway, the night is done. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a chill day. I'm gonna go to the gym. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, I have all my groceries, so I really have no reason to leave the house tomorrow unless I go for a walk, which I probably will. Let me see the weather. Um, I'll go before 12 or 1 because after that, that's when it goes up to like 89 degrees. So, anyway. That's pretty much it. Tomorrow we'll use the date ideas, um, night in type of thing, or I'll make like, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Love you guys so much.
y'all I know I look crazy the um the AC is about to turn off yeah I've really been in my smoothie bag okay so I have the same mango strawberry blend that I got from Target I put the Chobani yogurt again I went to Target today well I did a drive up order because what I found is that when you do not go inside the store and you do drive up or whatever when they bring it out to your car curbside pickup i found that you're not going to spend no money you're not going to spend more money than you need to ain't that something so i said you know what before i have to go in there and like spend money or whatever plus i look like this because i had just came from the gym which that's another thing in another video y'all i will talk to y'all more about like my gym journey and all of that in another weight loss vlog but anyway um i went they brought out i bought the mango they have like a mango drink to this but they didn't have it, so they just gave me this. And I was like, um, this is wrong. They was like, oh yeah, we didn't have it, so we had to switch it. But nobody said anything, so I ended up getting a refund. But they still let me keep it. So I just put it, um, that yogurt in here with some chia seeds, some spinach, y'all. Oh, I forgot to take my vitamin. It's so good. So good, so healthy. Today is Wednesday or Thursday? Okay, we gotta take our vitamin. You always gotta keep some chips, y'all. This is a snack. Okay, I'm only gonna have like two or three. But anyway, y'all, I had such a good morning. I woke up in my word, pray, praying, praise and worship. Um, I went to the gym. Got my stuff from Target. Made me a smoothie. I was watching a podcast this morning. A good podcast that I like to watch. It's a Christian podcast, obviously. It's In Totality with Megan Ashley. Love that. So I was watching the episode she had with Key. Um, I watched that and I watched her episode with Jerry Flowers. Then, you know, oh, I also dyed my wig jet black. So I just washed it out. It's air drying right now. I'm about to go take a shower and go put that wig on because tonight me and Mel are going to Gyukaku. Y'all know we love Gyukaku. It's a Korean um, barbecue place where you basically just make your the Korean food. The food is so good. I love going there just for their dessert. That warm fudge chocolate cake with the ice cream. Ten out of ten, y'all. No place can compare with their dessert. So we're going there later. Plus tomorrow, I wanted to do like a little girls' day out for me. Like just like well, yeah, a solo date out. Basically, I really wanted to go get a massage one and two, just go out to lunch in the city and catch a vibe. You know, I've never been out to eat by myself, so I'm like actually a little scared, but then not really scared because I need to do this. Like, I'm probably gonna bring like a book or something to read while I'm there while I'm eating. Plus, I'll be vlogging, so I'll be able to talk to you guys and bring my headphones. I I looked at the I'm gonna look at the comments from one of my previous vlogs where I asked you guys what are some tips on like solo day or whatever. And then, yeah, that'll be the end of this vlog. I'm gonna take the weekend to edit and then next week I'll be back to do maintenance because my lashes look crazy. I need my lashes done, my brows done. When I got back from Target, y'all, you remember the Bible that I just got? I put my Bible study tab on them. They are so cute. Look at these tabs, y'all. These tabs are fire. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Everything will be linked in my Amazon storefront. I love the Bible tabs do take a while to put on. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But I do like putting them on because it just helps when you're going through your word. Like and this smoothie here has 40 grams of protein. It's the yogurt. Um, it's that other Chobani drink. So it's like it's probably like a four or five hundred calorie smoothie. Oh. I'm gonna see y'all later because I'm coming with the radar. But don't play with me because I'm gonna see you, see you later. <laughs> Three hours later. Hey y'all, 
y'all so i just finished my hair or whatever i was on live for a little bit while i straightened it out um i'm about to head out i have on this cute little pants set from fashion nova it's so cute i'm gonna insert a picture of how it looks like i love fashion nova outfits i think they're so cute so calm and i love that all of their pants are like tall girl friendly well basically tall girl friendly because i'm like five six five seven ish so i don't like when my pants are like high waters i like for them to like touch the floor and everything that i've gotten from them have not been high water so i love that sorry i had to blow out my candle anyway i'm about to head out because i don't want to be late um i have this paired with some gucci sandals my gucci bag and yeah i'm about to go y'all but i wanted to just take my burberry before i go and i also wanted to get a tea bag so i could drink some tea on my way there i felt a little bloated from the smoothie Yeah, I felt a little bloated from the smoothie I had earlier. I think it's from the dairy. So I just want to make sure that, you know, my stomach doesn't cause no problems. But anyway, I'm about to head there because I don't want to be late for our reservation. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. y'all it's the next day so whew, um what happened oh last night the food was amazing like gyu kaku always a 10 out of 10 i also meant to tell you guys i don't know if you remember the tea bags that i showed you guys from whole foods they were unbleached tea bags i got the ginger peach green tea flavor y'all when i tell you that tea tastes so good it tasted so good i don't even know how to describe it but it tastes so fresh so it just it was everything y'all all right y'all sorry about that but yeah the tea was so good it was uh i don't know what was so different about it but it just tasted so fresh. well obviously i know that it's unbleached bags but it tasted so fresh it tasted so like good i don't know i had no bad aftertaste normally the bigelow brand that i be buying um when it's like a peach flavor or pomegranate flavor or even the regular green tea flavor it has a really bad aftertaste to me but this tea was so good you guys i made some um i have some in my car right now i'm letting it cool down before i start drinking it but anyway um this morning I, I did wake up and i was getting ready to go on my solo date as i told you like i really wanted to try this new restaurant that i saw um actually i saw Ray. let me tell you how it's so funny i know a gatekeeper hate to see me coming baby because ray monte posted i believe it was him deandre malik all of them were out to dinner and he posted these mozzarella, not mozzarella sticks, but it was like cheesy bread, mozzarella sticks, um, and something else, and a burger, and a pizza. And baby, that's my type of food. Are you kidding me? So he posted it and was like, everything was so good. Mind you, I, the cheesy bread alone made me want to go. And I knew they were in New York. I watched all of their stories to see <laughs> if anybody posted anything like showing the menu or something like that. Nobody did as far as the name of the restaurant, the menu or anything like that. So I said, you know what? Okay, baby, y'all want to play? I screenshotted the food right once they posted and I found the restaurant because I, and I used chat GBT to help me figure out. Listen, I love the people. I love the people, but like you cannot gatekeep. Like when you're showing how good food is, especially when you are an influencer and you have a platform, you need to let the girls know where you're going or else I'm going to find out myself. So as I said, not saying that they were gatekeeping or anything like that, but a gatekeeper hate to see me coming, baby. Y'all hate it.
But I found the restaurant. It's called Emily. It's in West Village. So I was gonna go by myself, and then one of my coworkers from another travel assignment, y'all, which is such a pro of traveling. You meet so many people, and you create like such lifelong friendships. But from another contract, she wanted to just um, go get food today, and I was like, it don't make sense for me to go out to eat twice. So why not just go to the restaurant? with her so that's what we're gonna do um she's gonna meet me there i believe she's probably way closer Ooh, sorry y'all for like the camera but she's probably way closer than i am so i'm headed there to meet her right now as i wake up this morning i did a quick pilates workout because i it was a 30 minute pilates workout it was like a heavy spring 30 minute one and i was just doing that really quickly because i thought i was about to be leaving you know and go do my solo date but then i got a message from her so i ended up just chilling i'm re-watching prison break y'all that is my show so if you've never watched it it's on netflix make sure y'all go watch it and I'm just heading there. I have on this two-piece set from Fashion Nova. Y'all, I see my chest is glowing. This is the... I've been using the Shea Moisture Oil. And, yeah. I'm just... I have so many body butters and stuff, y'all. While I was looking for my Gucci bag... Because yesterday I wanted to wear my black Gucci bag with my outfit. I'm like, where is that bag? And it was bothering me that I couldn't find it. So, I went in my closet today and I was looking for it. And I ended up finding six perfumes, y'all. I found two chance chanel i found a burberry goddess a burberry her intense a ysl libre and i found one more valentino six perfumes i found y'all i found uh two fenty butter drop like the body butters i found sold the general yo y'all i'm not even gonna say it's a good thing to be a hoarder because it's really not but in a way it's like i found so much stuff i found body washes these are all things that i had stuffed together but anyway found all my stuff the fragrance that i have on right now is burberry goddess um you know i, I do a little mixture but we just gonna use burberry goddess as the main one and yeah i'm about to head there y'all i'm almost there well yeah basically we're gonna go try this food and then that'll be the end of this vlog so that i have a day to edit i really need to get on a schedule when it comes to filming editing posting uh for youtube tiktok and everything so i just need to you know that's why i'm gonna spend the rest of tonight and tomorrow editing so the video will be up by sunday before i go to church because i want to go to church on sunday and then i'll start a new vlog on sunday so yeah y'all all right I'm, i will see you guys when we get there i love you guys so much and yeah restaurant y'all if y'all in the new york city area y'all should go check out emily like the restaurant was so good that's a place that I, I was actually supposed to do a solo date there and that is a place that i would do a solo date like it did not start getting like a little bit packed not even really packed but like more people started coming around like when we were leaving five six o'clock and i think they were open since like 12 and it was very empty like yeah it was when we went in there there was only there was one person sitting by herself and then another table with just two people that's the perfect place for a solo date they have an outside dining area the food was great the breadsticks the burger the mozzarella sticks what else did we get the pizza um the fries were good the dessert, everything was so good. Like everything was a 10 out of 10. All the waiters and everything was very nice. So I highly recommend it. Um, and that's basically it y'all. So that's the end of this vlog. I just took my vitamins. I took my magnesium, my vitamin D. And yeah, I'm about to like lay down. I'm about to start getting this footage put on my laptop because that takes a while. CapCut has been giving me so many problems. So 
I'm just going to, uh, what you would call it, put everything there, allow it to load, and just spend the day tomorrow editing. That way, like I said, this vlog can be up and ready for Sunday, and that I can, you know, spend the day Sunday out and starting another vlog. But that's it, y'all. I'm hoping y'all enjoying this vlog. Um, there's so much content. I know I keep saying it, but there is a lot of content coming. Please be patient, be patient. I know a lot of y'all asked me about the um, meet and greet, so I did plan on doing a meet and greet this year. But then, honestly, y'all, just to be completely honest, I personally just want to wait until I'm at a weight that I'm more comfortable at. Because, I don't know, like, I just want to make sure that when I do something, I'm like 100% ready and confident, you know? So, that will be coming soon. I don't know if it'll be this year or early next year or in the summer, whatever. Honestly, just whenever, everything is on God's timing that's it period so that's all y'all i'm about to go watch prison break enjoy the rest of my night i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you have any content ideas my job form is always linked in every single video in every description box so let me know what y'all want to see if i didn't name it here and i love you guys so much i'll see y'all in the next video